Greg, great to see you again. You as well, Pat. Good morning. You know, the last time you and I talked, and it was only just a few weeks ago, we were focused on nanotechnology and, and HVAC and, and those kinds of things. But you've got this other project you got to tell me about because you got striking news, the Albany Graphite Project. Thanks, Pat. Yeah, good morning. We put out some uh, pretty spectacular news yesterday with respect to the Albany Graphite uh, Project, which is a very large a uh, very special form of graphite that Zentech uh, owns in, uh, in Northern Ontario. Um, we have been working for some time at moving the project along and obviously with the backdrop of uh, the, the need to create North American battery supply chains, uh, the, the, the battery metals, this has become more in focus over the last couple of years. So we continue to move the project along uh, and we've been doing a lot of uh, purif uh, purification work, uh, test work to be able to qualify the material for the lithium ion battery market. Specifically, you need to reach a purity threshold of at least 99.95%. So we've been doing uh, a fair amount of work in that regard in the background, and we have achieved absolutely spectacular results. And we announced those yesterday. We achieved purity of five nines or 99.99915%, which is, was absolutely surprising to us. We weren't expecting to be able to achieve that level of purity. And with that, we now qu uh, uh, qualify for the purity required for the lithium ion battery market. But more excitingly for us, we, that is what's known as nuclear purity as well. So we could actually potentially qualify the material for the nuclear market. Talk to me a little bit about the process, because I noticed in the press release that you did that testing and achieved that purity without the use of hydrofluoric acid. What does that mean? What's, why is that significant? That's, that, that's right, Pat. And that's a very, very key point. So the majority of graphite that's supplied to the lithium ion battery market comes out of China and it's flake graphite they typically use that has a lot of impurities embedded in it. In order to uh, uh, liberate those impurities, they have to use very, very harsh chemicals. One of them being hydrofluoric acid, which is one of the nastiest substances known to man. It's very, very dangerous to humans. It's very dangerous to the environment we were able to achieve this five nine purities without the use of hydrofluoric acid. It's actually a fairly straightforward process. And I think that's what's got us most excited. It's one thing to achieve the purity we did, but to do it with a relatively straightforward process. It's, it's a three-step process. So there's an initial beneficiation stage that gets us to 86% purity. Then we do a, a hydromet process, which is a leaching process using relatively safe uh, uh, acids to get us to over 99%. And then we do a final thermal step that was actually able to get us up to the, the five nines purity. Okay. Now you've got this purity, what are the next steps, especially in light of you, your competitive now, I guess, with synthetic graphite? We are, Pat, that which is absolutely fantastic. And that's one of the unique attributes of the Albany deposit, just in the way that the deposit was formed. It was actually formed in the Earth's mantle uh, through a magmatic event. And that created very, very unique characteristics around the Albany graphite. And we knew that it had synthetic-like characteristics even before we were able to get to this level of purity. So it has much higher thermal stability and there's some other very unique attributes about the, uh, about the graphite. So now we believe that we can compete uh, or, or be a, a, a potential substitute for the synthetic graphite market. And as you know, the synthetic graphite market has much higher uh, selling price associated with it. And that's when I was talking about the nuclear market, getting to that five or six nines. You know, now you're starting to talk about graphite that has a selling price of $25 to $40,000 US per ton. So we're going to explore that as we continue to move along. But we're, we're still very, very excited about the lithium ion market, which there's huge potential for us in. So I assume there's a drill out program or, and or production? So uh, our also so we, we had a major drilling campaign about a decade ago, so we've already proven up about 1.3 million tons worth of material and the, the deposits open at depth. 
What's more, most important for us right now is continuing to prove up the suitability for this material in a lithium ion battery. So we're immediately starting uh, battery testing and we will have results for that in the coming weeks. Uh, so we want to be able to qualify it as a material. And one of the other exciting things that I mentioned in the press release yesterday was that we're not only looking at the production side, the graphite production side, but the processing side as well. And there's a big gap in the North American market for processed graphite or anode ready material. And that's something that we think we can do very, very efficiently. So we're excited about really building out that vertical integration from the material on the ground right through to the material that goes into the anode. Do you work with the NRC, the National Research Council of Canada, to uh, get to those levels? We do, Pat. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a great point. Uh, the government of Canada has been a tremendous supporter uh, in, in that regard. So the, the sample was actually, the 99% sample was actually sent to the NRC and it was in one of their processes and one of their furnaces that we were able to get it up to that level of purity. And we're actually going to be working with another uh, division of the government of Canada to continue this development work. So the government of Canada is fully invested in this. They want to see Canadian companies succeed. And uh, we we're talking to them about a whole host of potential opportunities to work together to develop the Albany project. Bodes well for the future, Greg. Thanks and congratulations. Thanks, Pat. We're really excited about this.